everybody, today I'm going to be doing an updated bookshelf tour. I haven't done one of these since last year since they take quite a lot of time to do and edit, but I decided why not do it this year right before I go to college so you guys know what is on my bookshelf as of right now. Recently I did a bookshelf reorganization video where I reorganized my whole entire bookshelf. So this video is going to be quite different than the one I did last year because my bookshelf is all reorganized. There are of course new books in here since last year. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So I have about six shelves on my bookshelf shelf and the absolutely last shelf that is on the floor actually are full of ARCs also known as advanced readers copies but that I will not delve into in this video because I'm going to make another video which I'm going to be calling what books I have on my ARC shelf so advanced readers copies that I've received from publishers because I think that'll be an interesting video to do so I can hold off on that shelf until the next video so yeah with that said now let's get started also ahead of time I apologize if I pronounce any of these authors names wrong because I tend to do that because I'm not the best at pronouncing last names, but I get to try my hardest. So the first book is Uninvited by Sophie Jordan, Magonia by Maria Devana Headley, The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, Deadly Little Secret by Lori Faria Stolars, Control by Lydia Kang, The Taking by Kimberly Dertang, Clariel by Garth Nix, After the End by Amy Plum, Reboot by Amy Tentera, Alice in Zombieland by Gina Showalter, Partials by Dan Wells, The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Hudley Black, We Were Liars by E. Lockhart, Salvage by Alex Alexandra Duncan, A Breath of Frost by Alexandra Harvey, Earthbound by April Lynn Pike, Dark Kiss by Michelle Rowan, A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray, The Winner's Curse by Marie Ratoski, Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge, The Maze Runner by James Dashner, Angel Paul by Suzanne E, Prisoner of Night and Fog by Anne Blankman, The Kiss of Deception and the Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson, Touch of Power by Maria B. Schneider, Poison Study and Magic Study also by Maria B. Schneider, Amazing Books, Pushing the Limits and Crash in to you by Katie McGarry, Awaken by Katie Kavinsky, Crash by Nicole Williams, If I Stay by Gail Foreman, My Life Next Door by Hunkley Fitzpatrick, The Demon's Lexicon by Sarah Reese Brennan, The Forest of Hands and Teeth by Carrie Ryan, The Goddess Test by Amy Carter, Matched and Crossed by Ali Condi, The Host by Stephanie Meyer, Soul Screamers by Rachel Vincent, Unraveling by Elizabeth Norris, The Name of the Star by Maureen Johnson, Heart of Dread Frozen by Melissa De La Cruz and Michael Johnson who are married, and and Times by Amy Schumacher, Poison Study by Krusty Cole, The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken, The Hunger Games series by Suzanne Collins, Shiver and Linger by Maggie S Stiefvater? I am pronouncing her last name wrong, I'm sorry. The Delirium series by Lauren Oliver, Proxy and Guardian by Alex London, Not a Drop to Drink and In a Handful of Dust by Mindy McGinnis. The Raisin Land Trilogy by Anna Greer, Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Madsen, Will Grayson Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan, Looking for Alaska and Paper Towns, The Fault in Our Stars, all by John Green, This Star Won't Go Out by Esther Earle, The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson, Barely Breathing by Rebecca Donovan, Time Between Us by Tamara Ireland Stone, Every Day by David Levithan, Fangirl and Eleanor in Park by Rainbow Rowell, 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, My True Love Gave to Me by a ton of different authors, The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight, and this is what happy looks like by Jennifer E. Smith. The three lovely books that we all know of by Stephanie Perkins. That's not the title of the books, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Faded by Alison Noel. The Body Finder by Kimberly Durting. Also, if any of these books are not next to the other books that the authors were written, I'm sorry. I organized a bookshelf and some of it's out of order, but it's okay. It's okay. At least they're all on here. Well, most of them. A lot of the other books that I have are in the other room on my other bookshelf, which I'll do a bookshelf tour of sometime later on. Hopefully. Poetry Eats by Sean Cummings. Unspoken by Sarah Reese Brennan. Eve by Anna Carey. Pods by Michelle Pickett. Touch by Jessica Cardo. Witch Hunter by Virginia Bowecker. Vendetta by Catherine Doyle. Tandem by Anna Garzov. Firelight by Sophie Jordan. The Gathering by Robin Bridges. The Dark Light by Sarah Walsh. The Testing by Joelle Barbanu. Oh, I pronounced that wrong. Really wrong. Her Darkness Shows the Stars by Diana Peter. Rune. The Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Moss, and then A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Moss. Another amazing book by an amazing author. I also have the first three books in the British editions. Yay! Okay, so I have two Outlander copies in the Mouse Market paperback edition. I have one Dragonfly and Amber and another Voyager. Then I have Outlander, which in the British edition is called Cross Stitch. Next, I have four first editions of the novels, which is Outlander, then Dragonfly and Amber, then Voyager, and then Drums of Auden. All by Diana Gabaldon, the Queen. I'm not even gonna 
gonna attempt to take out all the rest of the books that have hers, but I have The Outlandish Companion, the first edition. Then I have The Exile, which is a graphic novel. Then I'm just gonna go backwards to forwards. So this is the most recent book that she came out with, which is written in my own heart's blood. The next book is A Breath of Snow and Ashes. The next book is An Echo in the Bone. The next book is The Fiery Cross. The next book is Drums of Autumn, then Voyager, then Dragonfly Amber, then I have three copies of Outlander. Yes, three of these. One's hardcover, one's paperback, and one is the 20th anniversary edition. Yay! I have an excessive amount of Diana Gallon books, I know. I think I almost count how many Outlander copies I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven! I have seven Outlander books. Why? because I'm addicted. Next, I have Hollow City and Miss Pettigrin's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. Unearthly, Boundless, and Hallowed by Cynthia Hand. The Divergent series by Veronica Roth, plus the other book full of novellas about four, which is known as four. See, four, yay. Now, this one is my baby. Do you know why? Well, I'll tell you why if you do not know. First of all, Theo James signed the cover. Second of all, he also signed the inside cover flap, and then, well, he said, Sasha, welcome to Dauntless, so that's kind of really cool. Then it's also signed by Veronica Roth and Ansel L. Bay. Next, I have pretty much all of Jennifer L. Armentrout's books that she has out right now. Not all of them, but most of them. The first two are Stay With Me and Wait For You by Jay Lynn, which is her other pen name that she uses. Scorched and Don't Look Back, I have the American edition and the British edition. Two copies of The Return. The reason I have lots of double copies of this book is because Jennifer was so nice and she sent me all the British editions of her books, and I was like, oh my god, you are amazing. Amazing. So yeah, that's why I have lots of doubles editions because Jennifer is awesome. She's so cool. She's that's why she's like my favorite author. The Covenant series and two of the novellas that blocked the Covenant series by Jennifer L. Armitrout. We're doing the zoomed in thing again. So here are the British editions of the Lux series that she has, which is an alien series. So I have Obsidian, Onyx, Opal, Origin, Opposition, and then this other one that is Obsession, which is an adult novel that she wrote that's kind of like a spin-off of the Lux series. Then I have the other four books that she has, uh, which is the same books that I just mentioned before, Obsidian, Onyx, Opal, and Origin. And then the fifth book is Opposition, and it has a different cover, which is very odd. Then I have Beginnings and Consequences, which are the bind-ups of the first two books, the second and third book, and then the last book, which is Opposition. You can't even see me now. And lastly, so we have Wicked by Jennifer L. Armentrout and my favorite series of hers so far. I know you would think it would be Lux, but this series is so good and so unique. And that is White Hot Kiss and Stone Cold Touch by Jennifer L. Armentrout. The third book is coming out July 28th, which I was so excited about when I found out just recently. Did not know why I didn't know this before. Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. Danielle is like my favorite human in the world. She is just so nice. She wrote me a college recommendation that brought me to tears because it was just so sweet and I did not know if people thought of that of me and it was just like so nice. Uh, I'm getting so emotional just thinking about it. Danielle, I love you. You're amazing. Six of Crows by Leigh Barbugo. I should put this with her other books, but there's not enough room. Pivot Point by Casey West. Forevermore by Cindy Miles. Plus One by Elizabeth Fama. After Eden by Helen Douglas. Deception's Princess by Esther Friesner. Strands of Bronze and Gold by Jane Nickerson. Fire and Flood by Victoria Scott. Nevermore by Kelly Craig. Time's End by B.R. Collins. Dustlands by Moira Young. Struck by Jennifer Bosworth. The Grace Keeper by by Christy Logan. The Inventor Secret by Alexandra Creamer. Half Bad by Sally Green. Rebel Ball by Rachel Hawkins. Landry Park by Bethany Hagen. The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. I hope I'm pronouncing your last name right. Immortal City by Scott Spear. The Lightning Thief, The Sea of Monsters, and The Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan. Oh, Sasha, why don't you have the rest of the series? I don't own them, that's why. Taken by Aaron Bowman. Eva Darkness by Sylvia Day. Disillusion by J.S. Cooper, which is the second book in the series that I did not know that, but I bought it, and now I have the second book, but not the first. Fun! Existence and Predestined by Abby Glines. Fallen Too Far and Vincent Boys, also by Abby Glines. The Edge of Never by J.A. Rudmersky. Facade by Nyree Dawn. Thoughtful by S.C. Steffens. Beautiful Disaster and Beautiful Oblivion by Jamie McGreer. The Fifty Shades of Grey, why wow, that was kinky. The Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy by E.L. James. Disarm by June Grey. Losing It and Faking It by Cora Comrack. Ugly Love and Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. The Queen of the Tearling and the Invasion of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier. Bright Queen by Victoria Aveyard. An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. The Game of Thrones series by George R. R. Martin. I'm not gonna pull out the rest of the series, but they're all right here, right there. See them? I'm crossing them right now. 
Yeah. The Bronze Horseman and Tatiana and Alexander by Paulina Simons. This is what I like to call Sasha's kinky Scottish novels. The Pride of Lions by Marisha Canham. This is not a Scottish novel, but it's there. I don't know why. But it's The Clan of the Clave Bear by Jean M. Adul. 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 A Kingdom of Dreams by Judith McNaught. And Beyond the Highland Mist by Karen Marie Morning. A Reliable Wife by Robert Gulrick. The Things We Cherished by Pam Jenoff. Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. Oh, I love this book. The Wonder Sea by Susanna Kearsley. The Trader's Wife by Alison Patakai. The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. Pendragon by DJ McHale. Star of the Morning by Lynn Curland. The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. And To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf. I love these. How I Found You by Gabrielle Lepore, which I'm on the book cover of, so all you should buy this. That is me. That is my friend. And Greg. Hey, Greg. Then Pretty Girl 13 by Liz Coley. Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Golden. Och, we shit and get on with it. It's a Scottish book that I got at a castle in Scotland. Yay! Now here are some of my real babies. Flash comic, Superman and Wonder Woman comic, Avengers, and Earth One. I don't have a lot of comics because they're just so expensive. Oh my god, they're so expensive. Okay, so right here I have the Bloodline series by Rochelle Mead. Right here I have the Vampire Care Anime series also by Rochelle Mead. Dune and Destined for Dune by Carrie Corp and Lori Langdon. These Broken Stars in the Shattered World by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. The Mara Dyer trilogy by Michelle Hodkin. The Geisha Trilogy by Lee Barbugo. The Grisha Trilogy, not Geisha. Geisha is the name of one of the books I just mentioned. Good job, Sasha. Labyrinth by Pearl North. Wild by Alex Mallory. Seeker by R. Wen Els Dayton. And that landscape is of Scotland, I could tell. Girl Online by Zoe Sugg. And The Girl at Midnight by Melissa Gray. Dearly Departed by Leah Havel. Brazen by Catherine Longshore. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies by Jane Austen and Seth Graham Smith. Then over yonder I just have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books. Uh, for Scotland, for traveling Scotland, so just travel books. Next, right above me, I have the whole entire Harry Potter series. This first one is The Chamber of Secrets. The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. Gone Girl by Gilligan Flynn. Ink and Bone by Rachel Kane. Conan Verity by Elizabeth Ween. Dreamer's Pool by Juliette Marlier. Fallen Kingdom by Morgan Rhodes. Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea and Between the Spark and the Burn by April Genevieve Tuckolk. Red Rising by Hottie McHotHot. Sorry, I have a slight crush on this author. Pierce Brown, look him up. You're welcome. Tiger's Curse by Colleen Hook. The Falconer by Elizabeth May. Grave Mercy by Robin LeFevers. The Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson. The Warrior's Heir by Cinda Williams Chima. The Jewel by Amy Ewing. Midnight Thief by Liva Blackburn. Exquisite Captive by Heather Dementrios. Black Hole Sun by David McGinnis Gill. Serafina by Rachel Hartman. Under the Never Sky and Through the Evernight. Ow, that hit me the face by Veronica Rossi. Then I have The Young Elites by Marie Lu. Then I have two champion copies by Marie Lu. Then I have uh, Legend and Prodigy, which are the first two books of Legend series. Champion is the third. This is my boyfriend. He's Paca Jamie. I'm lonely. The Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. The Mortal Instrument series, which includes City of Bones, City of Glass, City of Ashes. Whoa, this is out of order. So City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angel, City of Lost Souls, City of Heavenly Fire. Then we get to the Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess series, also known as the Infernal Devices series. The Fifth Wave in the Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey. Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Roche. The Mad Man's Daughter, Her Dark Curiosity, and A Cold Legacy by Megan Shepard. Graceling and Fire by Kristen Cashore. Cinder, Scarlet, and Cress by Marissa Meyer. Shatter Me, Unravel Me, Ignite me and Unite Me by Tahara Mafi. The Selection, The Elite, The One in the Air by Kiara Cass. Hush Hush, Crescendo, Silence, and Finale by Becca Fitzpatrick. Article 5 and Breaking Point by Kristen Simmons. Between the Lines and Off the Page by Jody Pickout and Samantha Von Leer. Ruby Red, Emerald Green, and Sapphire Blue by Christian Gear. Sweet Evil and Sweet Peril by Wendy Higgins. Forbidden by Tabitha Suzma. Across the Universe, A Million Suns and Shades of Earth by Beth Revis. Alienated and Invaded by Melissa Landers. Altered and Erased by... It's by Jennifer Rush. Glow by Amy Catherine Ryan. Gravity and Hover by Melissa West. 
Life as we knew it, this world we live in, and The Dead and the Gone by Susan Beth Pfeiffer. The Honors by Tim Clare. Rook by Sharon Cameron. I, Justine by Justine Nazare. Alive by Scott Sigler. Beautiful Creatures by Cammy Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Apex by Air Kai Gyre. That's, that's a hard... What? Uglies by Scott Westerfeld. Inside Out by Maria B. Schneider. Wrecked by Anna Davies. Hex Hall by Rachel Hawkins. Marked by PC Cast and Kristen Cast. The Lifeguard by Deborah Blumethel. Carrier of the Mark by Lee Fallon. Angel Fire by Courtney Allison Moulton. Frost by Kate Avery Ellison. Conversion by Katherine Howe. Dawn and Hunger by Michael Grant. Love is All You Need by Deb Caletti. Heartbeat by Elizabeth Scott. Love and Other Foreign Words by Erin McHannon. Atlantis Rising by Gloria Craw. Kiss Crush Collide by Christina Meredith. Liar by Justine Larbor Lester. Inland by Kate Rosenfield. Along for the Ride by Sarah Dessen. Dark Cross by Josephine Angeli. Dark Companion by Marta Acosta. Prophecy Sisters by Michelle Zink. Until I Die by Amy Plum. Lucid by Adrian Stolitz, Ron Bass. The Gathering by Kelly Armstrong. Switched by Amanda Hawking. Halo and Hades by Alexandra Ardorneto. The Shadow Prince by Brie Despain. Daughters of the Moon by Lynn Ewing. The Young Elites and Legend by Marie Lu. I have extra copies of these. I also have The Paperback of Not a Drop to Drink by Mindy McGinnis. Wither by Lauren DeStefano. Defiance by CJ Redwine. Sweet by Kate Tiernan. La Brosie by Cecilia Ahern. Dub Sister's Tale by Tracy Barrett. Mila 2.0 by Deborah Driza. The Breakup Artist by Philip Siegel. Finding Audrey by Sophia Kinsella. Finding Paris by Joe Preble. The Secrets of Attraction by Robin Constantine. I Was Here by Gail Foreman. City Love by Suzanne Colasanti. 99 Days by Katie Cott Huguenot. Simon vs. the Homo Sapien Agenda by Becky Albertelli. Mist Walker by Sandra Mitchell. Disappear Home by Laura Horwitz. Down from the Mountain by Elizabeth Fixmer. Biggie by Derek E. Sullivan. Incarnate by Jody Meadows. Transcendence by C.J. Amalu. Fallen and Torment by Lauren Kate. Inescapable by Amy A. Bartol. Tin Star by Cecile Castellucci. Whatever Life Throws at You by Julie Cross. Falling Into Place by Amy Zhang. Positive by Paige Rawl and with Ali Benjamin. Love and Other Unknown Variables by Shannon Lee Alexander. A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. Endgame The Calling by James Frey and Nils Johnson Shelton. The Murder Complex and the Death Code by Lindsay Cummings. Shout out to Lindsay. Balance Keepers also by Lindsay Cummings. And Hex by Michelle Chris. And last but not least, Conquest The Chronicles of the Invaders by John Connolly and Jennifer Ridyard. So that is all for the bookshelf tour. I think the total of time that took was an hour and a half, but of course it'll be shorter for you guys watching. Also, just so you guys know, all the books I mentioned today in this video were pretty much all the books on this bookshelf, except a few of them which I decided to leave out because they're either double copies and whatnot, but I'll get you the total number of books that I own on my shelf and my other shelf to you guys very, very soon. So that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!